Hello guys and day we have here another very awesome deck profile. We have here Cyber Dragons continuing on with this whole fusion scheme. We have like two more decks of fusion decks before we go back to some other things. And hopefully by the time we get all done with these new fusions, we can um, the ban list will be revealed, so that means there will be plenty of new decks to go over. But here we have Cyber Dragons and they can OTK just amazingly. And if they can OTK they always have this new Infinity XZ monster, so it's really great. But they also have this new fusion, which is pretty much if you summon him and his effect goes off, you you win. It's GG. And I will go all over that once I get to each individual card. So let's go right in. We have three Cyber Dragons, one of them being the alternate art, because you always have to have that mix. I always like to have uh, different alternate arts. So pretty much, if your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon him. You uh, tap new it for your heretic plays. And I thought about maybe running Tap into it, but I don't think it would really work out too well. And then we have three Dre. Dre turns himself and any Cyber Dragons on the field into a level 5. So quick XZ summons. Konami Golden Jet is a level 5 light machine monster that does the exact same thing, except only for Konami. Konami. Konami? I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm just gonna call him Golden Jet. He does it for all of those guys. And then two Honest, cause OTK harder. 3 max C, because draw power isn't bad. And then we have core. Core, you pretty much can search out network or you can search out plant. And so that can be very, very awesome just being able to loop him and plant the plant can actually search out core. Three, no, not three, just two insta fusions. Um, so that way you can get your nodens, which can get you your economically jets or the drays back, but their effects will be negated from nodens. But yet that allows us to go for rank 4 plays, you can also bring back Honest. I have one with Jackie, two Power Bond. If you guys don't know what this is, this lets us fusion summon our Karameratech Rampage Dragon. And it has double attack, so it will go up to 42 I believe. Yeah, 42 attack. And once you guys see Rampage Dragon's effect, you will understand why that's game. I mean, having 42 attack, right? And anyways, we'll just be stupid. Machine Duplication uses on core to summon out Cyber Dragons. So it's a pretty much a two card rank five. Or if you have power bonds, you can make Rampage and just go off. One Foolish Burial. We want Foolish Burial because in order to activate Cyber Repair Plant, you need to have a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard. The one to send is core because you can banish him to stop someone's Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. So that is something decent to know. Three MSTs. One Snatch Deal, one Torrential, three Vanities, and three Network. I'm really iffy on Network because if it leaves the field, you cannot attack that turn, but you get a whole bunch of monsters. So that and if you banish Cyber Dragon Dre, you can you can target a Cyber Dragon monster and you cannot be sure about what like card effects that turn. So there's a lot of combo you can do. You can if you have like a Dre in hand and a Core in hand, you can use him to search out Network, then use Network to send another Dre to protect him. Next turn, summon uh, Dre, make both of these guys level 5, and congratulations, you have a Nova and thus an Infinity, and you can still use this card. And so that is it for the main deck. Really decent, really stupid combos that you can do, but that's once you're getting into the extra deck with this guy. This guy is another level 5 light machine type monster whose fusion material is two or more cyber dragon monsters. Now here's its effect. It can only a fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion material. So if you have a card effect that says special summon a fusion monster that isn't considered a fusion summon, you can summon him. But yet you cannot use instant fusion because instant fusion is treated as a fusion summon. So unfortunately you cannot instant fusion this guy, I believe. But you could like summon or evolution him, I'm pretty certain. When this card is fusion summon, you can target a number of spell trap cards up the field, up to a number of fusion mental materials used for fusion summon, min minimum one, destroy them. So if this effect goes off and you destroy at least two because it requires two to summon, um, you pretty much have one because he again has 42 attack because this is the only way to summon him out. And if you use more, you get a pop threes, and that's really good. But if his effect does get negated, that's a little sad, but. Not that many decks are running Fiendish or uh, Breakthrough skill right now. We see a couple of effect failures in deck and different decks, but it's not too big of a problem. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Its other effect is once per turn you can send up to two light machine type monsters 
from your deck graveyard and it gains additional tax for each card sent so it can attack three times before 200 tax and you will pretty much always have targets because every card up here and in here except for maxi and honest are flight machine type monsters so it's just really stupid and even if like you draw a whole bunch of these guys and you don't have them in your deck then like maybe you max seed or something well then you get a power bond and you get a pop all five back of your opponent's set so there's no problem with this and it is level five which means if you can otk by attacking three times with a 4200 beater you can always make another infinity so that's really really great Noden just in here to cycle out our level fours so that way we can make rank fours if necessary and i just think he's decent to have in here Infinity, this is a card that is really decent, and a lot of people, I heard that some people don't like this card because it is really ridiculous. It pretty much is a minus 2 for your opponent. It gains 2 attack for each material attached to it. Once per turn, you can target one other face of attack position monster on the field, mainly your opponents, and attach it to this card as XZ material, and then you can detach to negate a card or effect. So, some people think this is stupid, some people think this is an example of the power creep. I don't think this is an example of the power creep. By itself it is, but because it's a Cyber Dragon card, it's not horrible to me. Because like if it was a Necros card, if it was a Clock Wars or a Burning Beast or some new archetype that got this card, then yes, this would be an example of the power creep. Cards are getting more powerful, cards can make your opponent go minus two, they can do a whole bunch of stupid stuff. But this is Cyber Dragon. And the Cyber Dragons weren't, like, this is what they need to compete. And so it, there's this huge debate where, like, people are like, I want to run Glad Beast, why can't I run Glad Beast? Why can't I run Elemental Heroes? And it's like this, that, and the other thing. And then pe and then there's other people that complain, it's like, why do we get Dark Law? Like, Dark Law is just stupid. A macro cosmos for your opponent? And then people look at Cyber Dragon Infinity, like, this card is just too. It's an old archetype that wasn't being played that people want to play competitively and actually have a decent chance. And so, this card I'm okay with. If it was any other archetype of this, a new archetype of this, a meta archetype, then I would be a little bit upset and be like, why do they need this? Why would Clifford's need a card like this? Why would Necros need a card like this? But because it's Cyber Dragons, I find it permissible. I find it very okay for them because now it lets them be able to play. I mean, if they're ginned, they're ginned. You can't play the deck. Sorry, but if you can get this card out first turn, which is not that hard to do, you can make the Necros play, you can make the Triple play a little bit upset. And then we want three Pleiades, and then we want this card which you use to overlay onto Infinity, because Infinity, if you notice, is a level 6, all of ours become level 5, but you can exceed some of them. Onto Nova, you don't use Nova anymore for his own effect, you just use him as a gateway to him. Which means there are a lot of steps to this. You need to get out like a Cyber Dragon, a Dre, then you need to make this, and then you need to make this. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And as for our rank 4 is 101, Cast Out, Saiton, and number 80, so that we can banish those Meat Cross Mirrors. And that is the deck. It's looks it's really fun to play, really decent. Like so many people quit once you summon this guy and his effect goes off. It's just really stupid. And this guy can make you, can be really, really stupid. Although I lost to Melodious, like I lost to a Melodious deck because I couldn't target them, and I didn't know what their fusion monsters could do, so this I let this guy summon one of them, because I was uh, being like, okay, if he activates an effect, I'll just negate it, but he didn't activate an effect, he just attacked over um, Infinity, and I was like, well, that sucks. But it is really fun, really awesome deck to play, and I hope it can do really well. The honest, like you can take these honest out and put it down to one because you really don't need it because this guy's 4200 attack and which instantly gets over towers, so that's really nice. But just if you want, you can drop it and then increase his attack like by another 2000 or maybe 3000 depending on who you're attacking. And so, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this deck profile. This is Cyber Dragons. We really glad that we're seeing new fusion support as all. Well. There is other cards, there's fusion construction. Inscription. Let me show you guys that. I showed you guys it in um, the Fight for Deck profile. You can use this card if you want. I don't think you can use it with this guy because you have to reveal a fusion monster. And this is Cyber Dragon Monsters. 
So if you run any of the other um, Cyber Dragon fusions, you can reveal this card to add a Cyber Dragon to your hand, but we already have this card. So granted, this card is just a tad bit slower, so it really is up to you. If you want to run a uh, repair plan, you can search Dre and Core, or you can't be activated for his turn without Foolish. Or do you run Fusion Conscription, so that way you can always activate it. Thing to note about this card though, it says you can't normal or use that monster for the rest of the turn. So, the, or what does it say? Yeah, for the rest of the turn. So, what I did in one duel when I was testing this is I got out Core, activate Machine Boot, and then did Fusion Conscription. And I was able to um, get it, two of these guys out and one in my hands. So, that was really awesome. And then I was able to make an Infinity. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. There are all lot of uh, it's weird things. There's also this card, but yet I'm really confused about this card because I didn't get a chance to use it. I'm paying my half my life points. I isn't necessarily worth it. It's once during this turn, if you would fusion summon the machine type monster, you can banish fusion materials listed on that fusion monster from the side of your hand or graveyard and use them as fusion materials. So it pretty much lets power bonds become a miracle, I believe. The way it's worded, you might be able to fusion summon just by itself without any fusion spell cards. I don't know. I, I don't think that is the way it's worded, but maybe, but I'm pretty certain just lets you use Power Bond as a, um, what is it, a Miracle Fusion, or a Fight for a Fusion, if you guys saw that card, I don't see it here, oh well, so yeah, this is another new Cyber Dragon deck, I'm okay with it, if it became meta, I'd be completely okay with this. Um, deck being meta, but I highly doubt it because it still has problems against New Cross, of course, being Jin would really um, make that unfortunate. But hey, some people are hoping Jin gets banned, but that would hurt Rituals as a whole because that's really the only thing Rituals have going for them is Jin release or Ritual, despite the fact that it is a stupid lock. I'd say put Jin to two if anything. I mean, a lot of decks can easily get around Jin. Um, in the Mio match, it can just become just um, Valkyries and just lock based and some decks like Yosenju's just laugh at it and also Kleez, Kleez if you can't get rid of like a sacrifice they'll just laugh at you and you'd be like okay tribute carrier bounce Trishula so there's a lot of um, silly things going on this is ban list season hopefully you guys hopefully you guys saw my ban list prediction which there should be a link to that video at the end of this video when I get done talking, so hope you guys check that out if I ever get around to annotating. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.